Yes, can we take a question on to my left, the back? Yeah, I am uh, Vikram. I am an auditor by profession. This is a question of my friend. Uh, the question is, what is the b reason behind slaughtering the animals in Bakrid? Uh, does this really satisfy Salah? Does this have any scientific reason as other rituals have in Islam, like fasting? We ask the question that what is the reason, what is the logic behind slaughtering the animal during Bakrid? Does it satisfy Allah? Does it have scientific reason like the other Islamic rituals have got scientific reason like fasting, etc.? Brother, Allah says in Surah Hajj, chapter number 22, the blood and the meat does not go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He does not require blood and meat. It is your piety, it is the taqwa which reaches him. So we slaughter the animal not because the blood and meat should go to Allah. That's in most of the other religions. In the other religions, you slaughter the goat for the God. And you leave it on the idol. Maybe somebody else will come and eat it, the priest or someone. But you leave it to the idol for God. Quran says in Surah Anam, chapter 6, verse number 14, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He feeds everyone, but does not require to be fed. So when we slaughter the animal, we don't do it so that the meat and the blood go to Allah. The logic is, it is in remembrance of the incidents of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. When Almighty God asked Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, that who do you love the most in this world? After Almighty God. So he says, my son. So Almighty God asked him, that will you sacrifice the most beloved thing which you like for me? And Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, he listens to this commandment. And his son tells his father, Ishmael, peace be upon him, that father, blindfold your eye so that though you love me, you should not see me. Maybe your hand would not execute what your God wants. So in this way, the incident continues. And when he's about to slaughter his son, there is a replacement by a sheep, by a goat. In remembrance to that, we commemorate the Bakhrid. Now when we slaughter the animal, it is a remembrance to the world that Almighty God does not require human sacrifice. He was testing Prophet Abraham. Not that Almighty God did not know whether Prophet Abraham will pass in the test. No. He knew it very well. That this Prophet of mine, he will pass the test. It is reminding everyone that human sacrifice is prohibited. Even today, especially in this country of ours, India, every day, human beings are being sacrificed in the name of God, which is prohibited. Here we are being reminded, Almighty God, does not require human sacrifice. Furthermore, when we slaughter the animal, we do not believe that the meat and the blood go to Almighty God. When we slaughter the animal, we have to give minimum one-third to the poor people. Other one-third, we give to relatives and friends. Maximum you can keep is one-third. So here again, we are sharing. If you want, you can give everything to the poor people also. But minimum one-third you have to give. One third to your relatives and friends, one third you can eat. It is helping the poor people, feeding the poor people. So here we are being reminded that human sacrifice is prohibited. And we are being reminded that Almighty God does not require blood or the flesh of any animal. At the same time, we are helping our poor people to feed them and increase the brotherhood. Hope that answers the question.